kidding ourselves if we think, you know, just ace it, got it right the first time. We've got to screw it up and screw it up and screw it up and waste a ton of money. And we waste money faster, <coughs> frankly, get to find out whether or not things are going to work faster if we sort of, you know, try to tally up as many dead bodies as quickly as we can. Well, that's a great way to point. Always just making the same mistake faster. Faster. So, you know, so part of my answer is, yeah, sure, but so what? So it, it is. There's, there's way too much enthusiasm. I see, you know, the same plan probably four or five times a day, which is always the hallmark of the bubble. Back in the first bubble, like, you know, you've probably seen the eBay of X, and I was saying, that, you know, the, you know, it was always this kind of Hollywood, you know, God must be crazy means, you know, pick your favorite yeah. movie. It was, it was always these cross pollinations. And now it's a flicker of something. It's now it's a flicker of video. It's, you know, or even worse, it's now getting your YouTube or something else, which just shows you how quickly, you know, things turn over. So it's, the exact same things are playing out again. What I think is really interesting when you're thinking about bubbles, not to sort of belabor the bubble point, but there's, and you and I have spoken about this in the past, I think, there's some great studies out there. I think it's by a UCLA economist going all the way back to the, uh, the Dutch tulip bubble. And there's a pretty strong argument to be made that actually the first bubble, bubble, what is it, point one, I guess, wasn't actually a bubble at all. Mm -hmm.